Hey guys, this is Dr. Robinson coming back for some more video tutorials. Originally we had put out a large video that ran through how to use the entire app. What we wanted to do this time is break it down into smaller pieces because as many of you have noticed, we made a lot of changes and some of the materials outdated. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run through a couple of different features. Uh, so that way we can update them on the fly. If one changes, we won't need to redo the entire video. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through how to create an account, how to log in, how to create a clan or join a clan, and what you need to do to be able to uh, get your clan up and running on Clan War Tracker. I'll also do a couple of videos. Uh, we'll talk about how to add a war and calculate it, how to use strategizing properly. Uh, we'll talk about the call times and some of the different values that we use, and hopefully we'll get to an advanced tactics one, which will show you guys uh, how we calculate our war scores and kind of what that means for everybody in the clan and whether you decide that you want to use it or not. I'm also going to go over how to use our support system, which we think is great and gives you guys access to us almost 24 hours a day, unless we're sleeping, of course. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to jump into how to create an account. So first thing you'll do is create an account. You're going to put your email in, your password, and repeating your password. So I put in my email and my password. We don't do anything with your email. Uh, we keep it because we need a unique identifier for you to log in and have access to your clan. So what you'll do is you'll put in your email and your password and you'll click sign up. Uh, I've actually already logged in with my email. So my email is going to be, you can always click the remember me. Many of you have noticed that uh, the remember me button now works on mobile. And the first thing we're gonna see is the ability to either create or join a clan. Now, if you're an administrator or if you're a co-leader of your clan, you'll probably be the first person on here creating it. If you don't have a clan, you're gonna go in and you're gonna enter the name, the tag, and your clan handle is actually your, your clan name, your village name. Um, if, the, if you're a member and your clan's already up on Clan War Tracker, you'll just be able to search by either the clan name or the clan tag. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create this clan name, and I'm gonna show you how we'll search for it in just a second here. So our clan name is gonna be Unreal Dedicated. Now our clan tag, I'm gonna show you guys where you can find that here. I'm gonna pop it up on screen and you guys will be able to see this is where you can find your clan tag. Uh, now in my case, I'm just making up a clan tag. And then your clan handle. So my name is not Dr. Robinson. I'm going to go ahead and create this clan. Please double check that you have information that's, that you need here. So once I've created my clan, you'll see two things happen. Now, I've got my name up here in the top left, Unreal Dedicated, that's my clan. And up in the top left, I've also got my name, not Dr. Robinson, so I can see who I'm logged in as. What most of you are going to see from here is that you need to first add clan members. So there's a couple of things I can do. I'll go ahead and click Add Clan Member. This is going to take us to the uh, to the member management page. And the first thing I want to do is add the clan members that might be in my upcoming wars. So uh, we're just going to name them basic names here. We'll have Kevin. He's Town Hall 6. We have Ramona, who's a Town Hall 7. We have... Shaq, who's obviously a Town Hall 10. And we're going to have Jose, who's a Town Hall 9. Now if you guys see, not Dr. Robinson, actually uh, I don't have my Town Hall level in here, I have an input it, so I can go ahead and edit it and I'm going to be a Town Hall 9. Go ahead and save it. If I was going to join a clan, I would create an account, create my email address go ahead and sign up and what I do now is I would go ahead and join a clan now there's two ways to do it you can search for your clan tag uh, which I showed you guys how to found, find earlier in the video and that's the more accurate way uh, or you can search by the clan name so I want to search for real dedicated and search for that clan and that's us right here now what I made earlier was Unreal Dedicated, and that's this one, and that's the one I'm going to join right now. Um, if you do something such as Reddit, you're going to find quite a few different clans, right? So we've got all these different Reddit clans, 32 of them using our, our uh, system right now. And so we're going to go to Unreal 
and I'm going to join this clan. And so it's asking me to join Unreal Dedicated, what my nickname is. I'm going to be a person who hasn't been claimed yet. I'm going to be un, un Dr. Robinson. My town hall is going to be a 9. And I can say, hey guys, I'm new to your clan. And I can send that join request. And so now it says that I have a pending request to join Unreal Dedicated, right? If I made a mistake, I could join a different clan. Uh, if it didn't exist, I could have created one there. But now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the other end. So now if I'm going to log in. So when you log in as an administrator or an editor, the first thing you're going to see when a new person has joined, asked to join the clan is an approval request in the top right. It says, Undr. Robinson has requested to join your clan. Do you want to approve it? Of course I do. He's a great guy. Now that he's joined the clan, I have the option to either assign him a new name over here on the right. So Undr. Robinson with a Town Hall 9 and add him. And that's what... I requested to be joined as, uh, so that takes some of the, the burden off the editor. Or if uh, you don't know who they are, or maybe they've already been created because you've started wars and uh, they're just joining us now, you can assign them as somebody, right? So Undr. Robinson might already have a, a clan name over on the left here, and I could say, okay, he's going to be Undr. Robinson, and I'll click him, and it's going to bind him to it. Uh, in this case, I don't want to bind him, I just want to add him. And this is not permanent. Uh, anytime someone's bound, they can go in and they can unbind and bind to the correct username if it's available. So none of this stuff is locked in forever. And if you do have any issues with that, please contact us through support uh, and we'll iron that out for you. But what you'll see right now, if we go to our member management, is that I now have six people in the clan. I'm an admin. Undr. Robinson's also going to get moved to admin because that's me. Um, but realistically, you probably want to leave them as editors, which I'll do for all these other people when they come in and join. Um, but this one's going to be me, so he's going to be an admin. And you can see that the handle's claimed. So Undr. Robinson and not Dr. Robinson are both claimed. They both have an email account associated with them, which is unique, and they can join in doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update Roles. Bam, there it is.